I needed a new power supply and I begged Uncle Antec to send me a 700 watt, so they sent me this instead. Good afternoon, welcome back to Turbo Tortoise Tech. My name is Wookie Triple XL, and in this review, I'm having a look at Antec's HCG850. Now, this was sent over to me because I needed a new power supply. My other one is getting a little bit long in the tooth, and it started to show some signs of age with a wonky fan and some coil wine. So I said to the guys at Eptech, hey, you got anything to hook me up? And Antec quickly obliged with this 850 watt. Now it is 80 plus gold so the efficiency testing has done been or been done for us already and it is tested to 92% efficiency so even with 8% loss you're looking at almost 800 watts of con constant power supply from this which is well quite a lot most gaming systems usually average between 3 and 400 watts so this should give us some headroom to do even 2080 TR it's a lot the quick math on that off the top of my head with both cards doing 300 watts each plus 120 for your processor you're looking at about 720 so this should even power, power that with absolutely no problems uh, there are a couple of nice little bits and pieces that Antec have done with this, but this is a compact series power supply. So we're going to actually, well, do the unboxing now and see how small it really is. Okay. Nice and easy to remove, no Reese versus packaging really today. And then we get to this box within a box. And now we answer the question, what's in the box? So as we open it up, Really nice thing from Antec to include are some cable ties and then Velcro straps. I really, really like the Velcro straps because they're easy to remove and easy to adjust, etc. And there's nothing permanent inside your case. No sticky sellotape or anything else that can attract way too much dust and make it, uh, well, untidy and just generally deplorable. Uh, <laughs> we, we do get some screws for the back of the PSU in there as well. So that's really, really nice little package. Then we have our obligatory literatures in which they tell us about the warranty information. Um, this one is the package contents and then it actually has the package contents for the 650 and for the 750 as well. So I'll get a nice close up of that so you can flash you all of the included cables that do come with each of those series. And then, like I said, the warranty card. Now, it does say as well, yeah, keep, please keep your purchasing receipt. That's because that's the date that the 10-year warranty then starts off with. And 10 years, guys, I mean, my other one started kicking the bucket at about seven. So for 10-year warranty, these guys are obviously very confident in their build quality. Moving on to the cable box, we do have the set over here. And inside of it, you will find a plethora of connectivity. There's uh, three sets of PCI Express connectors, both of them with dual eight pins on it. So you, once again, you can actually do three eight pins to each of your uh, 2080 TR. So it has been set up for very high end VGA. Then we have the PSU connectors in which there are two eight pins, the 24 pin connector as well. All right, and then we get to the drive connectors. And this is something that I actually really like what they've done here, to be quite honest. Um, they do include a little adapter for floppy disk drives. I do like that it's an adapter, not actually on the cable. And I'll show you why. Because you, you then have a dual Molex or a triple Molex. So depending on how many connectors you're actually needing, you can neaten up your case ahead of time and only put in the connections that you need to use and you won't have any of these running around in your case. Because it is a small chance for stuff shorting, uh, especially if you guys use these little cables, these little ties don't do it because they can actually go into your power supply uh, connections and then have a short, especially with Molex, that is a bit of a danger. But then for the SATA, they do the exact same thing. There's just two on this cable and then there's two sets of four with these cables. So you can then obviously build it as you need it for the amount of storage that you have. Then finally, we get to the PSU itself, which is really, really compact. I mean, this thing is tiny for 850. Uh, if I compare it to my 900 watt, it's about 60 to 70% of that one size. So they've cut out about 30% of the space needed. So this lends itself to really nice high-end mini RTX builds. And then, like I said, you can get it in a 650 or a 750. It does have a hybrid mode on the back 
for your fan control and then a nice power switch next to the plug-in port. Then on the front we find the, the connections and there are five PCI and CPU connections totaling 840 watts worth of current throughput from those 12 volt 70 amp, it's quite a lot actually. Then we have the motherboard connector over here, which is a split one. I, I do like these split setups. And then there are four SOTA and MOLEX connectors. So at any point, you could literally have all of the SOTAs connected and then another three pin for the MOLEXs. So in effect, I think with the quick maths, you can connect 13 hard drives to this power supply, which is obviously excessive, but perhaps not if you're in a data center or something to that effect. And then because you wouldn't need the 24 pin uh, connected there, you could literally just have a jump plug connected in there or into your 24 pin, whatever suits you. You wouldn't actually need to run the entire power supply into the motherboard to add this on for like storage or something on the side. And then, like I said, you can also do those high-end gaming systems with, well, you can literally connect every single PCI Express and uh, a CPU power pin that comes in the box. So, all in all, I have to say 10 out of 10, 10 year warranty on these. And the price points that, that Antec is giving with these, and I mean, this build quality is just really, really, really solid. 80 plus gold rating, so you know it's gonna be good. 10 year warranty. And tech, I think I think they're coming back. I think they they've made some mistakes in the past, but this is a very good step in the right direction. Big thank you to them for allowing me to use this power supply on my test bench and help create even better content for you guys. So if you do like and tech, then hit us up with a like and subscribe for more content on the channel. And I hope you keep well, and we'll see you on the flip side.